All right, so now let's just go over all the different lights that we can use for light painting. There are a huge variety of them, and, he, and you can use practically whatever you can get your hands on. But let's go through all the ones I use and show you a tons of different examples for all the different tools, and also how you can make some of the tools of your own. So again, the Mini Mag Light, this is the most basic tool. It's just a flashlight. Yeah, you can shine it like that, right in the air. Um, you can take the cap off and it reveals the 360 bulb. One thing I especially like about these mag lights is that there's sort of like a mirror inside of, be, sort of behind the bulb, so it projects the light out more. Um, but basically because of that, if you wave the mag light around in the air while you're taking a long exposure, um, it kind of gives it like a, a, a majestical, dreamy look to it. Um, and I usually like doing this, like, I'll Start it, start it off on the ground and then just kind of wave it up and make a line first like that and then I'll kind of go outside more in the middle of the line. And the Mini Mag Light, it's also good because it can come with this little um, fiber optic uh, adapter. And again, you can get in very, very small spaces with this. this. This is basically what it's used for. So you could light paint each individual key on your keyboard or you could go in and light paint each facial feature on your face separately. It's also really good for light painting really small objects or maybe like buttons that are on the objects. Or maybe you wanted to highlight a sentence on a book page. You can do all sorts of weird things like that with this little fiber optic adapter. So this is what this little guy is used for. Um, and then the bigger mag lights. Um, same thing as the smaller ones. You can get LED lights or right now this one has an LED light on it but this one has like a xenon bulb or it's a krypton bulb I forgot which but like again this one's more yellow this one's more blue the LED is more directional and diffused the uh, krypton or xenon classic bulbs are more harsh and old style looking. They're more classic looking. Um, but these are good for light painting bigger objects or stuff outside. So if you wanted to light paint maybe the outside of a building wall or the inside of a building wall or a countertop or maybe you wanted to light paint a person standing, uh, this is all good for that. It's just a slightly bigger version from the little guy. And then you can also get very powerful flashlights, uh, ones like these. These are good for light painting trees or entire landscapes. If you can get one that's maybe like larger than this one. This one isn't really even that large in comparison to some of the ones I've seen. But uh, yeah, trees, landscapes, anything outside, these are good to use. And if you want to diffuse the light more and make it more soft, just place a little cloth over this or maybe a paper towel and it will diffuse the light and make it more soft. Another sort of flashlight I have is a little one with a button on the back. So one click is on, one click is off. And that's really nice because you can write letters with this guy. You can click it on, make a B, click it off, and make a C, things like that. So this is nice because it has the quick button that you can just quickly turn on and off and it's extremely bright. Plus, this little light, I don't know why, but this guy fits on here. So, I can also use this with this flashlight. So, this guy might fit on some of the flashlights you already have. LEDs, um, these guys, it's just like the ones that are in here, except it's just a single LED. These are cool because you can either push it on and off, just like that, to write letters, or you can lock it in place so it's on all the time. And then when it's locked, you could tie it on a string and then make um, certain patterns with it, like you can make circular patterns.